Hello everyone and good day to all. Today we are going to talk about choosing the right AI solution. Now in some aspects it is much more important than just doing data science in my opinion. Because let's say you have created 10 models. Now how do you choose which model to pick? Well is accuracy the only metric by which you should choose an AI solution? Many of you may say yes it is but I don't think that's the case and in fact let me prove it to you why that is not the case. The first aspect of in choosing any data science model or any AI solution is the business aspect. Now what do I mean when I say the business aspect? What is the business problem statement? There are some business problem statements that will require a classification related problem statement. Some will require a regression pro uh, solution. Some will require a clustering solution. You will never get a technical problem statement in your professional career. You will always be getting only business problem statements. So how do you convert a business problem statement to a technical problem statement? Well, to be honest, that is really really hard in fact many people spend almost decades in improving that that particular skill and this is not true just for data science this is true for all technical uh, domains so whether that be software engineering a full stack development a devops development any kind of solution requires a technical problem statement but that is not a straightforward thing to reach to you will always be given a business problem statement. In fact, let's let's just try a couple of examples. A retail company is experiencing fluctuations in sales and struggles to optimize inventory levels. This leads to stockouts and in fact the inverse scenario as well, overstock. This impacts both customer satisfaction and operational cost. Now the business needs the solution to predict and manage inventory more efficiently. Now is this a technical problem statement? No, this is clearly a business problem statement. So how would I convert it into a technical problem statement? Well uh, out of sheer in intuition and experience, I know that these are the problem statements that it uh, that I will need to solve the technical problem statements that I'll need to solve to reach to a business problem solution right for in this particular example I have taken product wise demand prediction so I have to predict for each product what is the demand on the basis of the demand can I uh, you know inform the suppliers the manufacturers that make this product by in this much quantity now not just that let's say one product takes two weeks to manufacture another product takes six months to manufacture now i'll have to using geopolitical situations i'll have to understand what the input i have to create i'll there must be some raw material whose ex price is getting high there must be some uh, tariff sanctions or something that can happen i'll have to ha uh, take that as input and identify a lead time or the time from manufacturing to the warehouse okay both these problems are regression based problem statements let's take another example a subscription based service uh, things like netflix amazon prime uh, and uh, your disney hotstar all of these are subscription based services that is experiencing a high rate of customer churn so what does that mean? Customers are coming once and they just pay once and in the next month they stop paying. This impacts revenue and obviously customer retention. If your entire focus is on those customers, then your existing loyal customers will have zero focus. right? So the business needs a solution to predict customer churn and implement targeted retention strategies. Now again, this is a very very uh, business oriented problem statement and there's no such thing that build this particular data science model build this particular AI solution it's not a technical problem statement 
it's a completely a business problem statement so how would i go about solving this particular problem statement uh, so i'll convert that business problem statement into three separate technical problem statements the first one is going to be customer churn prediction which is clearly a regression i have to predict the probability of each customer leaving the subscription service then i need to also give you give the the business some sort of you know strategies for retention so first i'll do a customer segmentation i'll identify the persona the demographic of each customer and cluster them into groups and for each group i'll be uh, creating a next best action which is going to be our strategy so this this next best action is going to come from a finite list of possible actions this finite list ultimately has to be provided by the business right so i have a regression problem statement i have a clustering problem statement and a classification problem statement see how business impacts the kind of model that you can choose you cannot choose a regression model to do clustering you cannot choose a clustering model to do classification i mean you can but your output would be very bad right next the technical aspects well there are multiple technical aspects but the most important one is recency is your solution future proof or not is your solution or is the model state of the art or not so 5 years down the line is it going to be outdated or not then time performance let's say you build the best model on in the world but it takes 20 second to respond can you imagine chat gpt using taking 20 seconds to respond to each and every of your query would such a model actually be popular obviously not so time performance is also really critical the third aspect is obviously accuracy accuracy is still in the picture but yeah it's it's the third aspect i still believe that for example if you have two models model a that gives you a 99% accuracy but takes 20 seconds to respond and you have model b that takes nine, that gives you 96% accuracy but takes only 1 second to respond i would choose model b always not just i most business stakeholders would always choose model b then there is a financial aspect as well so how what is the cost what is the infrastructure cost the employee cost the uh, the resource cost of training your model because that is going to be really critical each problem that you are going to solve has to give uh, the organization that you are working for some sort of profit right and similarly what is the cost to predict on the model if your model requires 10 gpus to predict in let's say 1 second then nobody is going to purchase such a model nobody is going to give mon- you money for such a solution right if you have any more questions please let me know i'll try to answer them in the comments below thank you for your time